Good morning, afternoon, and good evening, good people, and welcome to another Pummel video. My name is Julian, and today I'll be showing you how to get started in Pummel. This will be perfect for newcomers and a nice refresher for those already familiar with the platform. So let's get right to it. First on the list is setting up your profile. Sign up using your email address and give a name to your team and workspace. After you're done signing up, click on your profile picture in the upper right corner and go to My Profile and then click on Edit. There you can add info about you like your email, phone number, and job title. Once you're done, click Save Changes, and that's all there is to it. For an even better experience with Pummel, you can personalize your workspace to fit your needs by accessing Preferences and Notifications and Workspace Settings. Go to the Options menu next to your workspace title to access both. The Preferences and Notifications menu includes Notifications, Themes, Time Zone, the sidebar, and advanced settings. The workspace setting menu allows you to access general settings, permissions, manage members, billing, and configuring apps. Now that you're done setting up your profile, we can move on to Pummel's main job, communication. And if you thought you couldn't customize it before, boom, you have options to change and personalize it to your liking. Go to the More option in the sidebar and select Customize this list in Preferences. You can choose which list items you want to add, choose which conversations you want to show, sort the order of your conversations. You can also rearrange your section and channels by dragging and dropping them. Let's move on to Creating Sections in the sidebar menu a great asset for organizing your conversations. In the sidebar menu on the left, you can access channels, threads, direct messages, files, team members, and more. Go to the menu option next to your workspace name. Select Create Section, give it a name, and even add an emoji for status or a little bit of personality. You can create sections and channels by priority, clients, projects, and more. For each section, you can drag and drop relevant channels and DMs to your new section and collapse them to keep things nice and tidy. Now you can move on to creating channels. These are spaces for you and your teammates to send messages, files, and schedule meetings for projects you're working on. If you haven't already been invited to a workspace or team, you can create a channel by going to Create New on the top left of your window and select Channel. You can also click on the plus button next to channels in the left sidebar. A modal will pop up where you can name your channel, give it a description, and your set. To join existing channels, go to All Channels in the sidebar and scroll through each channel and choose any one you want to be a part of. Each channel you join will be listed under the Channels section. All channels, when created, are public by default to keep things transparent between all members of the team. But let's say you have a few team members that have a project that has classified information. When creating a new channel, the name and description modal will have the Make Private option. Select it and you'll have a dedicated space to discuss private information. Finally, we can move on to why you're really here in the first place, sending messages. Pummel gives you quite a few options for messaging, and you might be thinking, why do I need so many options to send a message? With an entire team of people forming groups, one-on-one -on -one convos, channels, etc., it's a lot to keep track of, and you'll be glad you'll have these options. You'll be able to send messages to groups, direct messages to members, reply to messages, create threads, 
react with emojis, save and schedule messages, and keep up with notifications. For sharing general information, updates, or asking questions, you can send a message to the entire channel where everyone will be notified. Type your message in a chat box below and hit send. The same goes for sending direct messages between you and any of your teammates. Creating threads is really convenient for having side conversations in channels so you and a chosen few can focus on what's relevant. Hover your cursor over a message and select Reply in Thread in the pop-up menu and send your message as normal. You can add other members by mentioning them by typing the at symbol before their name. If you want to select the entire channel to be a part of the thread, check the Also Send to Channel box. For a quick and fun reaction to a message or reply, you can send an emoji. Hover over the message and select the smiling emoji option and you can choose all kinds. You can even import your own by going to add emoji and upload what you like. Having trouble keeping up with all your messages? Don't worry because you can save important info just in case you get lost with all these conversations. Again, hover over the message you want and in the pop-up menu select Add to Saved Items and it will be highlighted in blue. You can get access to all of your saved items in the sidebar menu option. By now, you've got your hands full with everything and your schedule is all over the place. You might not have time to send something to a channel or a colleague easy work. In Pummel, you can schedule a message to the next working day, week, or set a custom time. In the chat box next to send, select the schedule for later option, set your time, and send it that way. And if you want to change, add, or delete the message, you can do so by selecting see all scheduled messages, or select drafts and schedule in the sidebar menu. And just to sweeten the pot a little bit more, Pummel allows you to set reminders for yourself on any message you want to. Hover over the message that you want and select the three dots menu in the pop-up menu. Go to remind me about this and set your time. Staying on top of things in Pummel is a breeze, right? But it gets even better when I introduce you to notifications. And you guessed it, there are options. In every conversation, channel, thread, or reply you're a part of, you'll be notified by an unreads pop-up in the side menu. The channel name or DM listing will be highlighted in the sidebar menu where you can see what's happening. When you're mentioned in the chat, this pop-up will say mentioned and you can check the highlighted chat. When selecting the bell icon on the top right of the window, you can choose to pause notifications for a set time or set your own notification schedule. You can also choose how you want to be notified by going to the preferences and notifications menu. There, you can set what you want to be notified about, set a schedule, choose what sound you want, and have notifications sent to your phone when not at your desktop, as well as being able to receive desktop notifications. Need to share a few files? No problem. In Pummel, files can be shared by dragging and dropping them in either a DM or a whole channel. You can send photos, PDF files, links, documents, and more. Anyone in the chat can have access to it and they can all be found in the files section in the sidebar menu. You have options to share, download, send it to save files, or delete it. If you need to find a document quickly, you can also search for a term in the search box above to easily filter through and find what you're looking for. Pummel has full integration with different apps such as Zapier, Google Calendar, 
Calendly, RSS, and more. At the bottom of the sidebar menu, you'll see the Apps section with a list of integrated apps in your Pummel account. To add an app, select the Add App button and you'll be redirected to the Configure Apps menu. Here, you'll see a list of different apps that you can choose from. First, select Install and then select Authorize and follow the instructions further. Who on earth enjoys meetings and calls these days? Nobody. They can be a hassle to organize and eat up a lot of time, and depending on how the meeting or the call goes, it can be a waste. But with Pummel, you can tackle organizing and scheduling meetings in moments and take back precious time and energy. Making calls in Pummel has been made so much simpler, and you have a few different ways to do it. The quickest way is to select which channel or teammate you want to call, and at the top right of the window, select the audio call button. Your colleagues will receive a modal on the bottom right where they can accept the call. For making quick video calls, you can do the same as audio calls, but instead select video call. In the video call window, you'll have a few different settings in the menu below, including muting your audio, disabling your video, raising your hand, sharing your screen, and other options as well. You can call a teammate or an entire channel if you want, and when calling your group for a meeting, Pummel has options to help you get prepared. So you have to organize a call or meeting, and you only have so much time on your hands. You can easily go to your Google Calendar or Calendly account and schedule your meeting there. Select the date and time, and when editing the event, you can add a name, description, and email list of invitees. Each member will receive an email where they can RSVP. You also have access to a meeting link and you can share it with any of your teammates and set your meeting up that way. And there you have it folks. All you need to know about getting started with Pummel. Thanks so much for watching this video. And if you enjoyed it and want to see more in-depth tutorials about some of these features, you can visit our website at www.pummel.com or check us out on YouTube. That's all for now, and we'll see you next time.